LiveCode's uniquely powerful text processing capability comes in handy for a wide range of applications. Examples include mail merging a form email, creating a leaflet for print, or an app that builds an invoice. In this video, you'll learn how to work with words and lines, combine text together, and make decisions and insert variables into output. In this example, I have a template email, which I've placed in a field called template, a record, which I've placed in a field called record, and an output field. In future videos, I'll show you how to download records directly from a database or a web service, and how to send the output through an email rather than just displaying it on the screen. To start out with, what we want to do is we want to copy our template field into our output field. Put field template into field output. I'm now going to load my record into a variable to make it easier to work with. Put field record into the record. The first thing I want to do is to have my email read Dear Mr. Miller. So I want to put line 2 of the record combined with the last word of the line 1, word minus 1 of line 1 of the record, and a comma into the name. Then I want to put the name after line 1 of field output. So if I just try this script out very quickly, what I'll find is that I now have a field which has an output in it that starts with Dear Mr. Miller. The next thing I want to do is to decide whether or not I want this section of my template which talks about the number of videos that I've watched, or if I want this little section which talks about the fact that I haven't watched any at all. So I have the number of videos watched as the fifth line of my record data here. And I'm going to start off by saying if line 5 of the record is greater than 0, then delete line 9 to 12 of field output, because we don't want the section that says we noticed you haven't watched any videos so far. Then what I want to do is insert this number 3 into the fifth word of the fifth line, which is where that x is, put line 5 of the record into word 5 of line 5 field output. Otherwise, I want to delete line 5 to 8 of field output. Then what I want to do is to take this ID and add it onto the end of my URL so that I have a tracking code. Put line 4 of the record after line 9 of field output. And finally, I want to insert this email address into my footer, replace email address with line 3 of the record in field output. And if I run this now, I should have an email that thanks me for watching three videos, has a tracking code and has an email. And if I change this record to a zero, my email changes to say that I haven't watched any videos.